Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, in Surah Sa'ad, He says, And we did not create the heaven and the earth, and that that was between them aimlessly. Meaning He did not create them without purpose. Everything, every one of Allah's creations has a purpose. And this troubling time that we're going through with the coronavirus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be certain, this is of Allah's creation as well. Calamities and disasters are a test. But we have to remember that these tests are a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for a person. If you have a loved one and he's ill and he's sick and he needs medicine, the medicine may be bitter. And yet, because you love that person, you give them that bitter medicine. So despite its bitterness, you give it to the one whom you love in much the same way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us. The Prophet Muhammad sallam in his hadith says, the greatest reward comes with the greatest trial. When Allah loves the people, He tests them. Whoever accepts that wins His pleasure, but whoever is discontent with that earns His wrath. Calamities, calamities and tests are good for the believer in the sense that reward is stored up for them in the hereafter. By this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the believer levels in the Jannah and also expiates the sins of the believer. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in his hadith, When Allah wills good for his slave, he hastens the punishment for him in this world. And when Allah wills ill for his slave, he withholds the punishment for his sins from him until he comes with him with all his sins on the day of resurrection. Al-Hasan al-Basri mentions, he says we should not resent the calamities that come and the disasters that occur. For perhaps in something that you dislike, will be your salvation, and perhaps in something that you prefer, will be your doom. al fadn ibn Sa'al says that there is blessing in calamity that the wise man should not ignore. The wise man looks for the blessing in the calamity because it erases his sins, it gives a person the opportunity to attain reward for patience, it dispels negligence. It dispels negligence in that we look to the good times and we don't think about the bad times. We should never be negligent because we never know when the bad times will be upon us. It also reminds one of the blessings at the time of health. Many people who had health six months ago have no health today. It calls one to repentance and encourages one to give charity. Through calamity, the believer seeks reward and there is no way to attain it but patience. And there is no way to be patient except with resolute faith and strong will. Remember the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sassam, when he mentions how wonderful is the affair of the believer? For his affairs are all good, and this applies to no one but the believer. If something good happens to him, he is thankful for it, and that is good for him. If something bad happens to him, he bears it with patience, and that is good for him as well. So there is purpose. Think about the purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has purpose in everything he created. How wonderful are those moments? in which a person turns to his Lord and knows that he alone is the one who grants relief from distress. People can work on a vaccine for this virus. People can come up with medication to ease the troubling ills that people are facing. And yet none of this is possible except by the will of Allah. This is the purpose. Allah's purpose in creating the virus and causing people to become will, ill is that during these moments people turn to him. We need to turn to him. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mentions in his hadith, he says, there is no Muslim, no Muslim who is stricken with a calamity and that says what Allah has enjoined, verily Allah, to Allah we belong and unto him is our return. O Allah, reward me for my affliction and compensate me with something better, but that Allah will compensate him with something better. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide each and every one of us and to ask him to make us of those people who seek out his guidance from his book and from his messenger so that we might achieve success in the dunya and in the akhirah. The scholar Ibn al-Qayyim has mentioned several things that we need to look for when it comes time when we are in times of calamity stricken with hardship. We need to look at what has befallen him. He will find that what his Lord has left for him is similar to or better than what he left. 
And if he is patient and accepts it, Allah has stored up many rewards for him, something that is much greater than anything we could achieve in the dunya. The fire of calamity can only be extinguished by thinking of those who have been hit even harder. Yes, there are many nations who have been hit worse with this calamity, with the coronavirus, than we have. Perhaps our, our community has been spared from any problems. Perhaps our city has been spared. Our county has been spared. But know this, people in different parts of the United States, as well as different parts in the world, are facing much, much greater hardship. It should, be, it should also be noted <coughs> that missing out on the reward for patience and surrender, which is a mercy and guidance that Allah has granted as the reward for patience and turning to Him. When these things are not in our control, we have to remember it does no good to panic. We can't change things. We have to accept the will of Allah. We have to be content with the divine decree. It should be noted that the one who is testing us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is testing us, is the most wise and the most merciful. He did not send this calamity to destroy us. He did not send it to cause us pain or to finish us off. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is checking on us. He's testing our level of patience. He's testing our acceptance of His divine decree. He's testing our faith. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this so that he may hear our dua, he may hear our supplication, he may hear us call upon him, he may see us stand before him seeking protection, filled with humility and complaining only to him. Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says that a calamity that makes you turn to Allah is better for you than a blessing which makes you forget the remembrance of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions again in, in the Qur'an, he said, who remembers Allah while standing or sitting or lying on your sides and gives thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly without purpose. Exalted are you above such a thing, then protect us from the punishment of the fire. We have to remember that there is purpose in all of Allah's creation and there is certainly purpose in this coronavirus. He wishes for us to turn to Him, to seek repentance, and to follow His guidance and the guidance of His Messenger. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on the believing men and the believing women. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa